As a responsible dog owner, we are not looking for trouble. So we've moved. There is no reason why this man should follow us again. Okay? It's late at night, and then what you're going to do now is charge her down. So that is the first option. There was nothing positive in charging you down. That behavior there was bad. But now let's assume he's drunk. Okay? So you're gonna ask him, why did you do that? I fell over. Fell over. Okay. Right. I'm gonna call my dog back. Okay, and I'm gonna call the police. Call the police. Call the back. You know, we diffuse the situation, not a problem, and we assume all is well. So you now go into your pocket, you're distracted again, okay. and start looking down, yeah. charge her again. <laughs> you don't need to be away. You need to be away. Okay? This is a reasonable force. There is no police in the state that can say the will this one a feeling there is a man with a weapon trying to charge you down and you have a controlled bicycle. So now what we're going to do with this, we now know he has a new intention. He's not just going to ask him, drop the weapon. First time this dog is working like this with the client. Now, you now really are very afraid. So, so the next thing you're going to do is give a command to this dog. Everything is very command specific. You're going to give a command, and that command is to go and bark and hold, and you want to push him back to that corner there. So, when he starts to bark and hold, you start to tell him, turn left, move back, turn left, move back. If he doesn't, he's going to get killed. Yeah? Yeah. So the next scenario that we have is this scenario. Okay. 
Who's? 